And now to a developing story this morning. The federal government is stepping in following the failure of two U.S. banks. California's Silicon Valley Bank failed on Friday. And then on Sunday, New York State regulators closed Signature Bank, which worked extensively with crypto. CBS News' Elijah Westbrook is live outside a Signature Bank branch in Midtown. And Elijah, what can customers there expect today? Well, Chris and Natalie, you know, people are worried about their money and for good reason. To answer your question, uh, as of this morning, we have learned that the federal government has rolled out a plan that will allow customers to access their accounts despite the fact that these two banks are now closed. But all of this comes as regulators scramble to figure out what went wrong. Two banks that did business with the crypto sector and tech startups all collapsed in less than a week. This time, it's Signature Bank, citing systemic risk. The company told us no comment when asked about what happened. Uh, the Federal Reserve, the FDIC, and the Treasury uh, step in and, and provide assurance that things like uh, uninsured deposits will be available to depositors on Monday morning is to prevent more of these. Uh, that was really the real risk, uh, is that... Uh, uninsured depositors at any bank could start stampeding to their bank to take money out. The Wall Street Journal reports that Signature was reeling from a bet on crypto banking. Sunday morning, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen addressed the FDIC seizing control of California-based Silicon Valley Bank on Friday. It's the second largest bank collapse in U.S. history and is already affecting the tech businesses it financed, including Roblox, Etsy, and Roku. It sparked alarm about reverberations amid rising interest rates. I've been working all weekend with our banking regulators to design appropriate uh, policies to address this situation. The American banking system is really um, safe and well capitalized. It's resilient. The Treasury Secretary ruled out a bailout for Silicon Valley Bank. New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy and New York City Mayor Eric Adams responded to the Fed's announcement to make customers whole with SVB. Our Economic Development Authority is preparing a package largely focused on liquidity uh, to be there in case we need to be there. There's a real concern particularly because in New York, we have such a substantial number of tech startups. We are going to have a coordination with the federal government, uh, the state, as well as here in the city to be a conduit of information. Now, starting as soon as this morning, we know that President Biden and Governor Hochul will address this matter and talk about efforts to avoid a potential banking crisis. We're live this morning here in Midtown Manhattan. Elijah Westbrook, CBS 2 News. Elijah, thank you.